Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into a crucial topic for online business owners in Nigeria. Understanding the tax laws that apply to your online ventures. Whether you're selling products, offering services, or creating digital content, staying compliant with Nigerian tax laws is essential for your success. Let's start by talking about the different types of taxes that online businesses in Nigeria need to pay. Knowing these taxes will help you avoid any legal issues and keep your business running smoothly. 1. Company Income Tax CIT. This is a tax on your business's profits. For most companies, the rate is 30%, but smaller businesses might pay a lower rate. 2. Value Added Tax VAT. VAT is a tax on goods and services and is currently at 7.5%. You need to charge this tax on each cell and pay it to the government. 3. Personal Income Tax PIT. If you are running a sole proprietorship, this tax applies to your individual earnings. The rate varies based on your income level. Withholding Tax WHT. This is a tax you deduct from payments to contractors or service providers. Rates vary depending on the service type. Capital Gains Tax CGT. If you sell an asset and make a profit, you will need to pay 10% of the profit to CGT. Now let's talk about what you need to do to stay compliant with these tax laws. First, you need to register your business with the Federal Income Revenue Service FIRS, and get a tax identification number TIN. This is crucial for all your tax activities. Then you have to file your income tax returns annually. Make sure you include all your earnings and expenses. The deadline is usually 6 months after your financial year ends. And don't forget to keep accurate records of all your financial transactions. This helps when filing returns and in case of any audit. Taxes on e-commerce and digital products. Whether you're selling physical goods or digital products like ebooks and softwares, these sales are taxed in Nigeria. You need to include all these earnings in your tax reports and charge VAT on sales. VAT is crucial here. At 7.5%, it applies to most online sales. Remember to add these to your product prices and collect it from your customers. For those of you with international transactions, it's crucial to understand the tax implications. Nigeria has doubled taxation agreements with several countries to avoid being taxed twice on the same income. Stay informed about the tax laws in the countries you're doing business with and how these agreements can affect your tax obligations. Finally, let's talk about tax initiatives and exemptions. This can be significantly reduced to your tax burden. There are several incentives available like tax holidays or reduced rates for eligible businesses. To benefit from this, make sure you meet the eligibility criteria and follow the application process correctly. Examples include reduced tax rates or credit for certain business activities. Effective tax planning and optimization strategies are key. Seek professional advice to navigate complex tax situations, especially for international transactions. Keeping detailed records and staying updated on tax laws can save you a lot of trouble. Consider hiring a, an accountant to help you manage your taxes effectively. In conclusion, understanding Nigerian tax laws for online businesses is vital for your success. By staying compliant and seeking professional help, you can avoid penalties and keep your business thriving. Remember, tax compliance isn't just about avoiding trouble. It's also about building a good reputation and setting up for long-term success. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tips. See you in the next video.